how to stay busy while your husband is in basic training. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Brianna and today um, I'm just going to basically talk about being a MILSO. I am actually a newlywed MILSO so I don't have much experience and I'm actually 19. But um, I will basically be talking about, so one, staying busy. I mean, if you work, you just trying to stay busy basically so um, if you just have a job you know of course try to put more hours in for instance me I'm personally preparing for my actual wedding ceremony next year so um, I'll be working hard <laughs> while he's gone just so that I can make sure that I'm paying our bills and keeping our finances where they're supposed to be and as well as saving up for our wedding so work is a, a good option as well as um, just finding hobbies that you really like to do. For instance, I love to sing, so I personally want to make videos or start making videos about singing um, or my songs that I have written previously. I actually started this thing called DoorDash, and DoorDash is just like a delivery service. They basically state that those are ways that I keep busy, but like I said, those ways you can keep busy are finding your hobbies, um, something that interests you, something that you like to do, and just find time to just do that, you know, when you feel like, oh, I miss him and stuff like that. Because there are going to be times where you're going to miss him like crazy and you're going to be sad. It's nothing that can really, you know, uplift your spirit. So personally, just finding videos that on YouTube, for instance, me, um, I go on YouTube and find relatable videos. Also, there's support groups. I know personally I'm in a lot of support groups on Facebook and those basically are a whole bunch of military spouse or even people that have been previously so they can give you information involving, you know, what should you do? How should you prepare when he goes, when you go to his graduation and just things like that. Um, and then the second way, also dealing with staying busy you as a new military spouse and while they're gone you're going to have responsibilities so don't think that you know oh i can wait till he comes back and then i'm going to be able to do the duties of a military spouse no your stuff starts now so uh once you get your packet he's going to send you a packet or whatever and that basically has information in it for your health insurance your dental insurance and those are things that you're going to basically be responsible to take care of for yourself as well as your military husband while he's gone um and that includes dental and health so what you basically do you're going to end up going to like an installation or any base or unit near you and you're going to find um an id card place now with the id card place you basically come sometimes you have to set an appointment fyi um i personally had to set an appointment I didn't want to go there and then find out, you know, clearly they're not going to let me come because some accept walk-ins, some don't. Personally, I had to make an appointment. So I made an appointment, went, you know, took all the paperwork, my dearest packet and everything in my forms that they needed. And then I got my military ID and took my picture that same day and I obtained my military ID. Now with that, I believe you automatically um, set yourself up for the TRICARE once your ID is made. That's automatic. But dental through dental there's a payment so you have to pay the payment and then um you know send it either by check via a uh, credit card number or whatever and um you will send that off and then they will give you a receipt back they will send it through the mail just stating that you know they got your information and now um and now you know you're enrolled basically um with that being said those were two really things that you had to do writing letters writing letters is key to your husband being happy where he is right now in a tough time and you being home in a tough time as well because you miss him and you care about him and you know you don't know really what's going on but you you know trying to stay strong basically for him um in that case writing letters is a big thing to do to help you and it's pretty therapeutic for instance me i love doing it i do it every day you know, write my letters basically and it personalize it. Tell them how my day went. Tell them how, you know, um, maybe this person made me mad today at work. But those things really help him to cope to be able to, 
you know, feel like he does know what's going on at home and, you know, he knows that you're okay and you're doing good. So things like that can be really um, therapeutic for you and for him. And of course, he won't be able to write to you every second of his day because he is really, really busy. So um, when you do get those letters, you should be really grateful that you received them. Now me, I received a lot of letters versus some people I do know who, you know, their husband hasn't, hasn't had enough time to send them letters, which of course, you just gotta stay patient and you gotta, you know, you just gotta think positive while he's gone because although times may be hard, you may cry yourself to sleep. I mean, you know, the, the reality of just the fact that you're not with your significant other or somebody you really cherish and love, you have to learn how to how to basically cope without him. So with that being said, um, those are your tips on how I personally stay busy and my tips and advice on how you should stay busy. Those are your tips on how to stay busy while your husband is in basic training. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.